Heading to church on Christmas Day, Prince Andrew with other royals. Any festive cheer has been replaced for him by concerns over these allegations, which he denies. Also accused and also protesting his innocence, the American lawyer Alan Dershowitz. Tonight he's preparing to take legal action against his accuser and he told the BBC the prince should follow suit. My goal is to uh, bring charges against the client and require her to speak in court. She, if she believes she has been hurt by me and by Prince Andrew, she should be suing us for damages. I welcome that lawsuit. I welcome any opportunity which would put her under oath and require her to state under oath these false allegations. This man is the reason Prince Andrew's facing talk of lawsuits. It's his once close friend, the American financier Jeffrey Epstein, a registered sex offender. Andrew stayed with him and they've holidayed together. The well-connected billionaire was sentenced in 2008 to 18 months in jail after pleading guilty to an offence of soliciting a minor for prostitution. Fourteen years ago, Prince Andrew was photographed with Virginia Roberts, who was then 17 and who was described as Epstein's personal masseurs. Now the prince has been named in court papers. It's not an action against him. An unnamed woman alleges that when she was a minor, she was the victim of a sex trafficking scheme run by Epstein. The document reads, One such powerful individual Epstein forced the woman to have sexual relationships with was a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew. She maintains it happened once here on Epstein's private island in the Caribbean at an orgy with numerous underage girls and also in London and New York. Officials here at the palace insist these allegations are categorically untrue, but they know that's not the end of it. Prince Andrew took a big knock in 2011 when his links with Epstein were first scrutinised closely. Four years on, he continues to pay a price for that friendship. Peter Hunt, BBC News, Buckingham Palace.